Bundesliga is the best. Ooh, 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 ooh skills. All right, hello everyone. Look, welcome to my Bundesliga Uncovered series, okay, where we talk about the Bundesliga. Episode one, the Bundesliga is the best league in the world. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel. I can already hear the Scousers, the Liverpool fans. Mate, what are you talking about? Liverpool is the best team in the world. First of all, this ain't about Liverpool. This is about the Premier League, La Liga, the leagues, not just one team. Stop feeling like you have to talk about Liverpool. Your world should not revolve around Liverpool. Stop it. <laughs> oh man, well, look, I think a lot of people will probably disagree with what I'm about to say, but it's my opinion, and you should probably listen to it, and if you don't listen to my opinion and agree with me, then you're committing what I call hate speech. I disagree with you, so it's hate speech. Over the last two years, I have gotten to really enjoy what the Bundesliga has to offer. Most of the times I spent watching Bayern before that, but since 2018, being able to make videos, and just enjoying it, I started watching more and more teams because I wanted to know about them. I started watching Leipzig and Dortmund play more regularly. And that's really where I grew my love for the Bundesliga. Before that, it was just Bayern, Bayern, Bayern. If Bayern didn't play you, I didn't give a damn about you. You did not matter to me, man. You did not matter to me like Rihanna to Chris Brown, okay? Not, no nada, man, no nada. But the first thing I love about the Bundesliga is its style of play. A lot of people call it naive, the high lines, which is weird because every league has one team that plays a high line and attacks and presses. Liverpool have a German manager that flopped in the Bundesliga in his last year. Just saying, just saying to everyone, he flopped in the Bundesliga in his last year. So the Paris Saint-Germain, I think one of the styles of play that people criticize from the Bundesliga is the high line. Why are you in a high line? Why can't you just be boring and play deep and not press? Why can't you just show no signs of energy? Why can't you just be lethargic like Burnley or something? Like Norwich City or something? I don't know. They expect everyone to drop deep, and the Premier League has always gotten this mantle of anyone can beat anyone. That's true in every league, it's just the Premier League's more popular for that, mainly because most teams just stifle the opposition. Whereas in the Bundesliga, your team is trying to be front foot. So you have two teams trying to be front foot, and it's a real battle. I enjoyed the midfield battles. Whenever Bayern play any team, I enjoy how the midfield dynamic goes. I enjoy it, that's fun for me. I cannot sit down and watch Burnley try to defend against Crystal Palace defending against Burnley. That's boring. It's just two teams trying to defend against each other. Oh my goodness, please stop. Give us some entertaining, high attacking, highly attractive foosball like Bastian Schweinsteiger. Please, please. I think it takes a lot of technicality as well to play a high pressing style and also intelligence. If you don't know when to press, who to press, at what moment to really initiate a certain type of pressure, how many players need to be pressing, what types of spaces and when to actually close them down, if you don't know these things, then the system doesn't work. And there are some teams that are better at some things than other teams. That's called professional sports. That's called being an athlete. Some athletes are better than you at other things. So I love the Bundesliga style of play. I mean, it's not just that. I think I just can't stand watching the whole La Liga passing, which of course I can appreciate. There's a difference between not wanting to like it and actually not liking it. It's not like I don't want to enjoy La Liga. No, there are moments I enjoy. But for me personally, and for the way I like to watch the game being played, I cannot for the life of me watch Valencia and Villarroid or something pass around each other like a billion times and they complete 91% of their passes. I want some intensity, some pace. I want that and I like that. And then the Premier League, I don't enjoy the brainlessness that some teams portray against the bigger teams because of course I'm not going to watch Burnley play Crystal Palace or Burnley play West Brom. I'm not going to do that. But I do think it's important to you that I point out that I don't enjoy watching whenever a Man United is playing a team like a West Brom. It's just boring. It's United trying to attack and this other team defending for their lives just to go lose the game at the end anyways. At least in the Bundesliga, there are teams that park the bus. They, they do it successfully. Frankfurt's one of those teams. But most teams and some teams have a different style of play, but most teams are pressing, they want to play foosball, they want to enjoy the game. That's what I like, I enjoy that. Another reason I enjoy the Bundesliga so much is the German culture. 
I guess not so much the German culture, but just the way the clubs go about doing things. It's about efficiency, it's about getting results, but it's also about entertaining the fans. And just the whole culture that's centered around fans and loud stadiums and standing in the stadium. There's a suit curve, there's the yellow wall, there are so many various things, there are ultras. I enjoy that a lot. Now, of course, 2020 decided to take all of that from us, but hopefully we can get it back soon. Because one of my favorite things to listen to during a Bayern game was people scream, Bayern, Bayern. It was just more fun. I don't think any other league has that level of consistency when it comes to fans. German fans happen to show up for their teams. They happen to organize things. I mean, Chelsea just decided to put our city, our trophy with the Champions League, and it was crazy cringe weird i don't know why they did it it didn't even look cool and after like two seconds the Bayern fans just flooded the stadium anyways this happened in february it was so cringe how chelsea fans did it but it just shows you that the germany fans the german fans just cannot be stopped so in a massive way i love the culture that the bundesliga has now there are some negatives to the bundesliga well technically i wouldn't necessarily call them all negatives i would call them obstacles we can all overcome obstacles but sometimes obstacles are obstacles they're hard to get by for most the bundesliga has the 50 plus one rule which i agree with i think voting rights should go to the club members but it is very restrictive in how it works clubs can't get any outside investment which i'm not saying we all should get but i'm saying it should be fair for clubs if someone's willing to invest in the club that has fans Instead of having Leipzig, you could have a club that's been historically great actually build themselves through actual outsider investment. Now, I don't agree with oil money, okay? That's not what we want. I also think the 50 plus one rule leaves the clubs and its managers and its just offices very little breathing ground. If they wanted to change the ticket prices, the fans would just vote against it. If they wanted to change anything to help with marketing in any way, the fans would just say no. So I feel like it's very restrictive, which is why Bundesliga clubs don't make as much money as the other leagues. The Premier League, billions are made. Each team can be making so much money through these sponsorships and through their broadcasting revenue, but the Bundesliga teams are still lackluster. They're lagging behind because of these deals that are made and the 50 plus one rule. It does need revamping. I mean, I always thought about this. So club members vote in the president, they end up voting in the board members, I think, all the board members. Maybe some positions are, you just get promoted. But I'm thinking to myself, what if the club members were accountable to the people they vote in, right? So basically like, a, you know, an election. Someone runs an election to be a board member in a specific area, maybe your manager of your finances, your brand manager or something like that, managing how your stadiums, I don't know. There are all these different positions that people can run for and they can campaign to the club members and say, I'm the best for this position. So when the members vote them in, if the club decided this is good for the club, let's do this, right? What I think should happen is the club should say, okay, let's implement this. If the fans say no, then they vote against it. But here's the thing, if the fans actually vote against that thing and take it out, either there's some sort of compromise that needs to be made or what I think should happen is if two thirds of the elected board, the elected members in the club vote for that thing, I think it should pass. Now this could leave rooms for conflict of interest for people to gain and benefit while also screwing over other people, making football clubs extremely political. But I just thought this would be a good idea in my head. So essentially, it's a system where both keep each other accountable. Checks in power, checks in balances, whatever you want to call it. That's really what's holding the Bundesliga back from fully realizing its potential. Because it does have the players. It has some of the best young players in the world. It has amazing teams competing for the title. But to make it more competitive, I think that rule has to be twisted, not, not changed completely. The concepts should remain, the foundations of it should remain but change it so clubs have more flexibility in how they make decisions and aren't only held accountable by the club members, but are also being able to hold the club members accountable. But yeah, those are my reasons why the Bundesliga is the best league in the world. Somehow that turned into me explaining and, and suggesting a whole new constitution the Bundesliga could implement. But thank you everyone so much. I'm out. Roscoe's out.